teams. Okay, gods. I think Vici win unless Lycan doesn't get pipe. He gets yeah. pipe. <laughs> That's right, a get, get a pipe. That's a pretty thin line. Get a pipe, you win the game. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's, standard, it's standard Lycan build, I think, especially against magic damage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I I have to go Vici here. I think I love this call of the Zeus pick, but I think it's there are you states fools. in the game where Zeus just gets run over. How dare you insult the lightning god like that? He shall smite both of you at the end of this. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> Some minor bluffs on here. We'll, we'll let them calm down. Instead, we'll head back to our commentary team. Odie picks on Fog to waiting to bring you game number two. Thank you very much, Red Eye. We're absolutely ready to go. And as you can see, so are the crowd here in Genting as we get ourselves stuck into game two. Newbie versus Vici Gaming. I'm Odie Pixel. I'm here with Fog, of course, once again. Fogged. What do we reckon? This final pick Zeus? I've been, right. I've been actually waiting for Zeus. Uh, we had it early in this tournament. We saw it picked up and it was put as a five support and we were like, aww. But now we get core Zeus, especially versus the Tinker. This is actually one of the better heroes. We, you get that Aghanims and you're easily able to find the Tinker with that Cloud, with the Nimbus in the later stages if they get to that point. That's the problem. They're versus a Lycan. Okay. And I think the, this what, hero can what, just run over a Zeus if he gets a good start and right yeah. as uh, Gods was saying with a potential pipe buildup or... Or at least maybe just the hood, we'll see. Maybe just the hood, but yep. the thing is this hero is just so fast-paced right now, and that's, I feel like, the way to play Dota by far right now. So, And I've seen this hero have so much success, but we'll see if they're going to be able to do it. I'm kind of split between the two. I like what both drafts kind of have, so I've been leaning a bit more heavily towards just team fighting lineups in this patch, but Vici has great ways to stall the game, and they have, I mean, they have this Lycan that's just a monster hero and Tinker Ori. That's like he's one of his signatures too, so. We've seen a lot of very scary performances on these heroes and I don't want to get the first book quite yet. We did see VG, yeah. uh, VG Gaming poking around that bottom rune. Uh, but the lanes, as uh, we are going to see, so KP, uh, this off lane tiny. So talk to me about this, something that I've, I've not seen that often in pro games. The off lane tiny? It's been happening, it's been happening more and more. It's just because people, you farm, you can do, yeah. any, you can do well versus like almost any matchup. You harass with your last hits, it's great. You're going to do just fine up there. And he's going to get help from Faith. So he's going to be able to pressure and farm really well versus this lane. So other little interaction that we have going is something I was thinking was going to happen a lot of the games actually coming into this tournament was the Bounty Hunter Tinker. Yes. Track plus Tinker is yeah. absurd once it gets to like later stages of the game. So I want to see if, how a Fenrir does in this game. He's been, he's been really one of my stars for Avicii, in my opinion, in the last upcoming weeks. Oh, this mid lane, how uh, do we expect to see pretty much just sort of a, a watch mark? It's actually the top lane that we've got to look towards as Femra's wrapping around. Sentry is down though for newbies, so they're aware of him going in, but it doesn't look like that. That's actually going to save KP is there, chasing him down. Femra with a final touch will be able to get the kill. First blood from this bounty hunty, hunter rotation, despite newbie having that sentry ward down and seemingly expecting it. Yeah, Faith having the Fatal Bond skill to try to go for the harassment with uh, the tree grab as well. You can cleave off of it and do bonus damage, but Tiny being zero armor takes a lot of damage in this type of lane. Bounty Hunter does do a decent chunk of damage. Coming in to, to play around with these two again, having these three up here on VG Gaming, Lan and Paparazzi and Fenrir, is proving to be a little scary for Faith and KP. will definitely keep them on their toes. KP finally hitting that level two, so he will have a bit of a better chance now with a point in the avalanche if they do try and make a go on him. Yeah. That was the important thing that VG did do, is they emphasized on going for that level one, so there was no way actually to stop. Oh, that's my bouncy rune, Kaka says. I'll grab that one. Oh, young Eleven will be able to get his hands on a haste rune. Oh, is he going to go pull a wave? That would be neat. Kind of stay contesting it. So that mid matchup you were talking about a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Trade farm, absolutely. Just going to see lots of clarities brought out for the Zeus. Tinker's going to probably be able to bully a bit just because of that bonus magic one charges, and he's not really at risk of dying at all. And we'll probably see a, you know, Fenrir making moves around the map between that top and mid lane mostly. Bottom lane, Young Eleven, trying to do his best to man up against Moogie. They have Worming Hods and Prox and the passive keeping him good. Top lane, though, a bit of a go being made by Vici Gaming again. There is the Shadow Word heal, helping Faith out a little bit, and it will. Will be enough to keep him just alive. 22 HP he goes down to. Whew, that was close. I have to be very careful in this lane, newbie. KP getting a, a little bit of farm out of here as we can see 11 for free. He's getting more than 
And of course, over on the side of Vici Gaming down at the bottom, the uh, Young Eleven Legion Commander. But as I say that, he's getting gone on once again. And does have the Avalanche. And uh, proving to be very good at sort of stopping Vici Gaming going for a kill as, as long as he has that Avalanche ready. And yeah. the mana to do so. I mean, Vici's never going to stop doing this because you look at their lineup, they have much more aggressive heroes. Newbie, they pretty much need to get levels online to really take be doing any moves on the map. Warlock doesn't move around the map too well. Naga, mm, if you have the right heroes, can, but with this situation, you don't really. You need to bring multiple hero rotations if you want to try to pick people off. It is going to be quite a slow-paced game coming out from Newbie. As we can see in the mid lane, down to Ori getting this, this lead. He has got the, the level advantage over the Zeus in this 1v1 matchup. So nice. Ori having a very nice time here to begin with. S triple C's not having a fun time in that mid lane. No. Not at all. We'll catch back up. And rep, able to grab both of those bouncy rings up top, and in fact, set up for the vision, allowing Ori to close the gap, get involved with a kill as they take down Faith on this top lane. A second kill for VG Gaming. So more and more gold into the bank of this Tinker, as Ori will be able to keep his advantage in this mid lane. It's always the fear as a Zeus in this lane. Sure, he can get some farm, but with a bounty hunter in the game, he has to just stay a little bit more wary of the ganks coming out from the Tinker going this like laser rocket build that he's now seen. Moogie CS still looking pretty hot there. Top of the board, 26 yep. for 14. Same as the like and pretty much both carries getting everything that they want out of these lanes. So only really the mid lane where that, there is sort of that breakaway favoring Vici Gaming. But other than that, across the map, they're still relatively close. We're going to see Newbie maybe try for something top. They have Kaka working as a bit of a bait as they do bring both Faith and KP back to the lane. So they now have three heroes ready to fight as well. But of course, all spotted underneath the ward. No, ne nevertheless, they'll still get the lockdown onto Femre going in with the toss. Shadow Word brings him down. Newbie will claim the kill. So the movement, even though it was spotted out by that ward, VG Gaming didn't react in time to get themselves back into a favorable position. I do like this, that choice from Kaka. I think he's realizing, like, bottom lane, PL's gonna be able to just farm perfectly fine on there. They need to have this Tiny yeah. actually get online because he's their playmaker. They need him to actually have quite an impact in this game so that they don't get run over by this Lycan. I'll certainly try the best to slow down Paparazzi's CS, but it's, it's going to be hard to do so. He has that Ring of Health, of course, as well as the Headdress and the two points in the Impulse. So he's sitting on that very juicy plus 15.8 uh -oh. HP regen. So very hard to harass out the lane. Yeah, Fenrir coming in with the rotation. Ori, he should have the mana to burst him down. And indeed he does. Great rotation from Fenrir with these bouncy movements, setting up for another very, very nice kill. I think I just actually saw SCCC like pinging on him on top of himself too, maybe asking for a sentry ward or something along those lines for his team. He was, he, I think he expected that kind of movement to come in, but oh. still gets grabbed out by it. And I'm going to see Kaka try and lead him for a kill once again. They have the net to set things up. The Shadow Earth bringing Lanham down should be enough to pop the line. He pops the stick charges though, keeping him alive for the time being. Kaka diving in, will get the kill with the Riptide. KPTP's out, facing a bit of trouble though. Paparazzi has the walls, looking for the body blocks. Can't quite get it, may still get the kill though. He's going to do his best to chase. It doesn't look like he will be able to though. With Kaka coming in, Riptides blocks them off. Newbie will get out, so getting away with that kill. Once again on this top lane, just as you say, just trying to secure some sort of positive action for KP to be involved in up top. And still unable to really deal with that Lycan. But yeah. Same to be said for the PL. Yeah, still Triple C's just in so such fear for his life. I actually think he's throwing down these lightning bolts, not only not really for harassment onto Ori. I think he's doing it just to get vision That's of another where thing. the bounty and is. Look at that, he's smart. Yeah. Oh, and he actually pings it. He, I think he knows there's a war up there now. Yep, he does. He's pings it again. Um. Bottom lane, Moogie getting aggressive. Young Eleven. Press the attack, heals himself back up and should be fine, but quite level difference now between these two. Level 7 on Moogie, level 5 on Young Eleven. As he's really putting the pressure on this tower, and Young Eleven struggling to get close with the continuous onslaught of the illusions. And doesn't look like we're going to see uh, any help coming for, for Moogie to apply the pressure, but there is going to be Fenrir coming down for Vici Gaming. If they find a chance to to make a play there. Now, I'm a, now eyeing this up, it, it's a bit of a difficult one. He doesn't actually have a point yet skill, but it looks like he's still got a Same point holding on. Yeah. So now he'll, he'll pop it. As soon as Fenrir is shown, skills of the doppelganger, jumps backwards. Quite be able to get Young Eleven, but he should be able to get himself <laughs> back. But he did trick. He got Fenrir a little bit there with that juke. Nice play there by Moogie under the tower. 
Top lane. Top lane. Same time, Nubia are going to take their time to go for a progressive play themselves onto the paparazzi, and they'll get it. They get the kill. Cost, Papra cost KP his life, though. One for one, but taking the Lycan off the map, whilst their PL is still good to farm, is always a, a good play for Nubi. As Mugi still uninterrupted down bottom, despite Fichi Gaming sending a few heroes down there to make a bit of a go against him. But as it seems, two heroes, it's not going to be enough to take down this PL. They have to do some sort of a bigger rotation if they want to kill him early on. Top lane, another kill potential for Nubi. They lead in with the, the, the net and Lanham. It's caught out once again, trying to soak up the XP, but not ready for Nubi to come back up in the full force of this tri lane. I think it's the, this is just like the perfect decision making for them. To, they have to play around this tiny. He needs to get this advantage, like we were mentioning. And it's actually sent Paparazzi a bit going to the jungle, but he's he's farming just fine. He's got the Dominator finished already. Alpha Wolf's going to help him farm even faster, and Necrobook's that choice. And it seems like we've been seeing this build coming out more now for the Lycan. There's just no points in the Howl early on. Just a lot of 404 builds. He's not 302 right now, but. So more than likely. Young 11. Still really in no threat in this lane. It's very much still a free lane for him to also continue farming, working his way towards the Blink Dagger, as long as it is just the PL down here. And for the most part, as we've seen, it has been for Nubi, mm -hmm. as they are more than happy leaving Mugi on his own. Paparazzi starting to to look towards the jungle now and uh, keep himself away from this lane. Understandably so. Great scan here from Nubi. They know that someone's hiding in the tree line. They'll put the Thunder God's Wrath. They've got the dust. Very nice heads up play there from Nubi. They, they knew someone was hiding and they find him. They're like, there's no way. They're just abandoning this top lane entirely. So that was, that was a nice play there. Getting Fenrir while he's trying to leech that experience. I'll start to push in now. Uh, CCC turning up for some action on the top lane. Looks like Paparazzi wants to do some kind of smoke play. He's sitting around the mid lane, pinging himself. Wants to make a move toward that bottom lane. Probably claim a tower since he's expecting Nubi to make that heavy rotation top to try to claim that tower themselves. I hope the PL is actually going for Oh, look at this again. They're so prepared to play around this bounty. Sentry down just as soon as he's out of the range of it. And Femre is going to go down again. Nubi making it very hard for this bounty to play. He did get us some great rotations earlier, but now Nubi are prepared for Fenrir's movements and they've, they've outplayed him twice. Uh-oh, SCCC in mid. We've got the wraparound. Paparazzi's got his ult ready. Pops it. He's a little Let's bit see. deep here, this Zeus. I don't know if there's any way he can get out of this. TP's on cooldown, and even if he wanted to do so, Lanham's there. He has got backup from the high ground. Kaka does actually have to sleep. So with that in mind, it will buy some time for the Zeus to get away. Kaka does also have a TP, but Faith, he's coming in. He's got the rock. He's thinking about fighting, and there we go. Up to three. The roots on one, and in comes Moogie, ready for the fight to go. The burst rippers, SCCC, takes out Paparazzi. They'll look towards Ori Mugi, jumps in with a double gang, a double kill for SCCC and Ori. Oh my God. Down as well. What a turnaround there, Nubi, in a situation where it looked like they were going to run. But this Naga Siren coming in. Kaka says, we're going to take this fight, and they absolutely do. Three heroes down on Vici Gaming. What a heads up play. Perfect positioning. Kaka just in the right place at the right time. Same thing with Faith. I love that they. I love how they do that too. You, you seem like it, they were kind of like contemplating. They're like, yeah. we TP out. Oh no, wait, Faith's here. We, we got this fight. Very good combos to deal with the Lycan too. This is the power of the Naga with that net. It's a hard disable that can actually grab the Lycan at all stages through that ulti. And absolutely, we've seen you know in the first game how well Newbie can utilize this sort of Naga plus one combo. And BG Gaming knew that in the draft, but the Void was gone, Tide was gone, Enigma was gone. They might Maybe be. We say in. we can do it with Warlock. They might be putting up a standpoint of uh, getting rid of this Naga for Kaka because we'll again, this is starting to get ridiculous. All the combos that they're able to do with this. What's very nice Absolutely as well, you perfect. see the sort of hesitation as well from Faith because he knows that they're going to retreat and get more groups up. So yeah. he can guarantee the three man connection. And with Moogie turning up to the fight as well, just getting involved and big kills for SCCC. Now, suddenly, bam, this Zeus shooting up the charts and he's up there at the top. We're going to see another fight kick off straight away though, because VT Gaming trying to invade the jungle. Young Lemon's falling low. SCCC's already found the line. Again, Newbie taking down two as VT Gaming coming into to territory that they should not have been in as we're starting to see this network shoot very early on in favor of the way of newbie newbie collapses so quickly that's what i've noticed about their games even when they're trying to like take fights you see them sometimes they have like three or four people and then you just see like the other guy just always starts making they're always trying to take the fights with this and that's why they that's why like the panel was mentioned these guys they love to draft the team fight that's what it's all about Beachy though can they 
get some momentum coming back in their way. They do have the boots of travel ready, but they don't have those type of, you know, they don't have anything that they want to, like, do, like, on the, on the contrary. Like, they're like, oh, ulties are down, but can they really go for some type of smoke play here? They really need that Legion blink before they can actually go for anything like that. So that'll probably be the crucial moment of when we actually see Vici getting more aggressive. But they don't have any way to take advantage of these big cooldowns being down. I mean, it's pretty and unfortunate. And, to, and until the point where there's any sort of BKB or pipe or hood on the side, you, you, you just yeah. can't go into a fight against newbie. We've got fatal bonds, plus Zeus, plus, plus you know, all of this. The Moogie now having a Diffusal Blade. There's just no way you can sort of withstand that sort of damage in a 5v5 engagement if you're Vici gaming at this point of the game. Yeah. I'm really glad Moogie went for the Diffusal build this game, too. Yeah. I just want, I, yeah. I like, I, I personally just like it more because it's more about that, like, fighting aspect. Some games, I, I can understand the battle fear, so you can get that, get your timings at different, like, differently, but I feel like just fighting in this is, in this patch is really war rewarding. Absolutely. Especially with the lineup they have, having sort yeah. of this Tiny and Zeus, you know that these guys, they want to go, they want to go now, they don't want to leave it late. Sure, the Lycan may, might not scale to great, but you never want to go late in a game where there's a Tinker, and especially someone as proficient as Ori as that. Tinker can always cause massive issues later on the hunting for him here, but he will be able to keep his distance. KP's gonna get his blink dagger already finished up now too, so that's gonna give a lot more options for newbie. That kill threshold can actually work pretty well with the tiny, so he can burst people and then with the Zeus ulti on top he can kill most of the targets actually on the side of Ichi. Some nice, uh, very deep wards being placed in the last couple moments by Fenrir on the bounty hunter. So they will be able to at least see where Newbie does want to take those fights and where the smokes do come out. And I think that's the nature of their lineup, the way that they were drafting. They were just like, we're not a team fight team by any means. We just have to split up the map, use the resources as best as possible. But Newbie looking to fight nonstop. There we go. Here's the smoke for Newbie. I believe it was just out of range of that Dire Observer 1. We'll see how well Gucci Gaming are prepared. They are grouped up, up towards the top lane. So if a fight kicks off... They could look to turn around at the same time, being grouped up, could oh, they're doing certainly the work map. against them. With this Naga Warlock wraparound, can they find the perfect opportunity? Karkar's leading the way. BG have Femrir in good position if they do head up Newbie. And doesn't look like Newbie wants to from that angle there. They're actually going to sweep around the rest of the jungle. Moogie though, whoa, quick doppelganger, is it going to be enough to save him? Jumping out at the range of the duel, but there's the control. They have the stomp from the Sentinel, nice micro from Paparazzi, sets up for the duel. Now the reaction play, Nubi, Nubi even without Moogie, they still want to try and fight. Too bad Avalanche with the Fatal Bonds, rips through Vici game, and they've lost three. Lanham will get the long range finger to find a second kill. Oh, Every time they sleep, Kaka catches Ori here on the Tinker. They're bringing in the Golem, KP's there as well. They've got the damage to take him down. Four down on Vici Gaming. And VG Gaming can just not catch a break. They do get the PL, but with the position that Newbie were in, they're fine with Moogie dying in that situation because Definitely. they know they have so much potential. We saw Fatal Bonds plus the combo from Tiny Zeus. It just deletes heroes on VG Gaming at this stage. Yeah, Newbie knew that they were all up there, but they looked like they were doing the big wraparound because they were waiting for the Zeus Salty to come back online so they get that big vision aspect before the fight comes out. And I mean, it all works out fine. Moogie's like, oh well. Still top of the net worth, as we can see on the PL. Yeah. Working towards the Manta style, of course, next after Blade. Item wise for Paparazzi, he's got the level one Necro, but nearly the level two. Still trying to scale up to that point. If he can get a still before the 20 minute mark, he's still going to be happy, relatively happy at least if he can find sort of the pick offs. But it he has... doesn't really improve his potential in the team fights. That yeah. is always going to be an issue before uh -oh. that pickup search, and he's caught out and all on his own. Moogie just moves straight across the map, leading the charge. He didn't even need Faith and Kaka around with him either, with a Diffusal Blade and the damage coming out from this PL. Lycan down yet again. Yeah, DD rune makes him die quite quickly. Beachy now is looking a bit similar to the last game, right? It's, it's starting to get to that point where Nubi is feeling pretty commanding in this one. They have such good vision on the map. They're taking all the right fights. Vici needs to get a lot done with this Blink Dagger on Young Eleven now. Oh, here we go, this wraparound, Kaka. He's found the vision here, straight away, KPM with a combo. Young Eleven will get the heal off, is it enough to get him out of there? It's buying him some time, but the root flies through from Kaka, he's got the control. And that will be Young Eleven down again. Ori, thinking about TPing in. Cancel it, as he does not want to come into close quarters with this newbie lineup. They're pushing in on the bottom lane, moving on to this tier 2 tower. 18 minutes in, Newbie starting to really cement their grip on this game. 7k gold lead and ever-increasing at this pace. 
is going to be hard to break high ground if they ever want to go for that. Unless they have... Oh, unless they find the tinker, tinker like this straight away into the tree lines. KP blinks across. They've got that Tinker Ward on yep. the high ground. It's immediately pinged out by Vici Gaming. They know what's up, but those sort of wards setting up big plays and even more. Jump in from KP. He's got the control onto Venret. Oh, Young 11, Young 11 also in trouble. He's trying to get himself out. They may look to chase. Let's see. Looks like they'll play it safe, newbie. Not yet wanting to dive up to the high ground. They'll keep it cool, back up, take the tier 2 tower. But Vici Gaming just seem absolutely unable to stop this momentum. And yeah. oh, KP, oh, no. he comes in. Young 11's come a bit too far forward. He's going to get held down by the root. Mugi moves in. Another kill. It's just hero after hero dying on Vici Gaming's lineup. They're trying to take advantage of the time while the Tinker's down. Try to get any damage on the tower as possible. Tinker now respawning, though. Newbie standing their ground. They've got Rock available if they have mana, but he is pretty shy on that. So 170 more mana, so they're going to back up as soon as Tinker responds. I mean, how do BG Gaming come back into this game? What's their, their best plan of action? Ooh, Paparazzi able to just move himself out of range of the Avalanche. Is it? Are you just looking to the Tinker now to just stall the game and the yeah. Lycan to just split push the uh, like he never has before? Pretty much, it's it's all down to split push and if they can somehow get that, like sneak a Roche or something, but it's looking pretty grim here for Vici with the way that newbie has been playing around the map. They're always just seeming to fight, even when they don't have all their all their cooldowns available. They're taking the fights and winning them. Shadow Blade on KP as well, so catch potential from this tiny skyrocketing yeah. out of control. It's almost impossible for Vici Gaming to play around there. How are they going to be able to stop themselves from being jumped upon by this liner? It does seem pretty hard, especially because now that there's more deep vision coming out from Newbie too, so they're going to see if any of the moves, but I think the name of the game is really, like we said, Vici has to just split push the map so hard. But Newbie, I don't think that they're too, un too unhappy about it anyway, because they've got this pretty decent dual core between the PL Tiny and Zeus. He's, he's that weird hero. He can be just become this absolute monster in damage, and Fatal Bonds does really enable Zeus to do quite a lot of damage in those team fights if, if they are bound up. And there is no hood or pipe built up on the side or even in the process on the side of Ichi. A bit too poor. Radiant Unable to win any fights, you don't really get any gold out of oh, the map. That bit of moment of coming out of Invis is going to cost him his life. Newbie yeah. reacts straight away. And look at this, Faith is itemizing and ready to try to close this game out. He's got the hood picked up, he's going to go for the pipe so they can try to break that high ground. It's looking real grim here for Vici. Another tower for Newbie, and there's absolutely no way that Vici Gaming can try and contest oh. outside the base, and that is the... Kaka nets the courier yeah. and kills off the book recipe. That was the book three for Paparazzi. Setting them back even more. Newbie's trying to close, close this out. They're oh. going in. Oh, getting him outside of the base. Can they finish the kill off? Young Eleven trying to run himself away. Jump up to the high ground. Kaka looking for action with the help of Mugi. Takes down Lanham. Young Eleven will survive. Bottom lane, Paparazzi trying his best for the split push, KPTP's in. We'll be able to claim the tower. Paparazzi will be able to sneak himself away for now. Successful split push there from the Lycan. Getting a little bit done, shoving this bottom lane right around to the base of Newbie. This is exactly what Vici Gaming need to do if they want to hold a chance of staying in the series. Great tree toss though from KP, picks up a hefty amount of gold. Just looking so hard for this for the oh, Legion. Life, playing around with the base here. <laughs> I love it. Like for the like, this is where it's really tough because now it's you have a Legion commander too, and he, he doesn't feel like he can actually find anything on the map here. He's just kind of running around. He can't, oh, can't do too much. Paparazzi. He's gotta be careful. He's coming a little bit too close. Fatal Bonds is down to the two of them. There's the chaotic offering drop. Catches two. Paparazzi and Lano try to get themselves out. Quick hex in response to hold them back. Okay. Jumping on the sidelines, guarantees the kill onto Young Eleven. That's the Legion deleted. 40 seconds, no Legion Commander, Ori immediately getting that march out. And we are saying that Tinker, despite, and you know, regardless of how the rest of his team is doing, is always going to have this very frustrating potential when it comes to trying to break the high ground. Yeah, I have a feeling we might see Kaka go for some kind of Blink Dagger or something on Naga Siren here. I really, I would really like that pickup, because if he can just Blink in with a Sleep, yep. then they can surround on top of that Tinker. I think, like, Blink on Naga and just Tinker Agonims, and they can try to actually go for the closeout. At, oh, and top of the pipe, of course, for the Warlock. That would probably be the big scenarios for Noopy to just go for that high ground push. While for Vici, they have to keep doing that split push. And like we said, I think the Roche is so important for them to actually be able to get back into this game. But it doesn't look like it's going to be that option. And 
Now we are seeing paparazzi oh. change the items up. An SCCC. Oh, He's found Ori in the sidelines. Ori, he get himself out of this. He looks to be in a whole world of trouble. He'll pop out the laser, but with the lining from SCCC, that's a secured kill. A slow but painful death. And with that kill as well, he is 150 gold or so away from having the Aghanim Scepter. Mugi moving in top, but Vici Gaming may be able to punish this nice little Manta Dodge there with the Shuriken. He backs away, Ferdo Bons is down upon them. Paparazzi has popped the ult, he's trying to chase in. See what he did there on uh, Mugi? He actually defused the Centaur, so it actually holds it in place. So he couldn't get the chase to get the stun off. That was a really nice play there by Mugi. Off the back of that, I mean, they know that the shape shift has been used, newbie. Try and re-engage, re but looks like they'll decide against it a little too far away. Beachy Gaming Rs, they will play it safe, get themselves back up to the base. And Newbie just turned for the safer objective, straight into Roshan. Very little, if anything, that Beachy Gaming can do about this one as they are fully up on the high ground at the moment and no way of getting here in time. And if you're playing in a Lycan lineup, this is the worst possible feeling, not getting your Rosh. You need that to kind of get back in the game. It's... It's just looking harder and harder as the game progresses. I mean, Newbie certainly played very well in game one, but game two just seems to be even more impressive from this lineup. Turning up here on the main stage, ESL Genting and giving us pretty flawless Dota. They're looking for a fight here now, too. Avicii Gaming Smoke. They up. are very low mana and they don't have SCCC there, so I don't know if. Let's see what they start off with. KP immediately in with the combo onto Paparazzi. Paparazzi does have the hood, but is it going to be enough to save? And Lanham comes in with the stun. Paparazzi trying to get himself back up to the high ground. Hex as well onto this PL, trying to hold him down, but he pops the doppelganger, turns towards Lanham. Or he's still laying down the march of the machines up on the high ground. Lanham in trouble though, taken down. That's the first casualty for VG Gaming. There may be more. Mugi looking towards Fenrir, will claim the bounty's life as they hold him down with the net. Double kill for Mugi. VG Gaming just left to retreat back up to the base, and they will make it. All three cores survive, but again, two quick and easy kills for Newbie, and they are more than happy to stick around and keep the pressure on. They didn't even have this triple C there. They were just so confident to go on, because he can just throw the Nimbus from the base, so that's more than enough from his contribution. So it does look like it's going to be the Aghanim's choice for Kaka, but it's still a long ways away. But that heal is a different kind of approach to deal with the spam of the March, as well as the Legion. Let's heal up his teammates all the way. 70% heal on that eggs. Pretty substantial. Newbie will see the top lane pushing in. I'll look to land that tier two. Mm -hmm. And once again, they know that's just money for the taking here as Vici Gaming. No means of getting outside of the base and holding on to this one. See on the net worth 14k gold lead. Builds up and up. And 14k at the moment on Mugi. A good 3k or so ahead of Ori's Tinker. It's been about 10 minutes since yeah. Vici got their last kill. They got a tower, but it's a lot of green dots. And he'll be making all the right moves. Nice itemization as well from the, the cores of Newbie. Both yeah. PL, you know, both Mugi and KP looking to go straight for the heart. Yeah, and just try to tank through that. It's the best option. Tank through the march, just break, bre breach that high ground. Because they've got good ways to get the vision. If they just need to throw a Zeus ulti, they'll know where the Tinker is, and then they can try to throw him back, toss back, something along those lines. More than anything, though, yep. sustained through that march is the goal. And completed pipe on Faith, so all good to go. There's also a pipe over on the side of Vici Gaming, yep. as uh, Paparazzi does manage to finish it up, and as sort of you know, God's mentioned on the panel, this almost a quintessential item to the, for this team to have against yep. the, the lineup of, of Newbie. And it will certainly help a little bit, but it's just sort of a question if it comes a little too late at this stage, as Vici Gaming, of course, already very far behind. Smoke up, KP looking to see if he can get a catch outside of the base, Fenrir heading forward, they will spot him immediately and Fenrir on a bit of a scouting mission will pay for that as Newbie clean up the bounty straight away, moving up to the high ground. Tinker's not in position here for this one now too. And no march with the machines already laid down, a stun onto Mugi, he immediately with a doppelganger just backing away in the backup of his team, shadow word from Faith, Mugi is more than okay and they they get the first sort of sub-objective. They're able to get the fortification out of Vici Gaming. Yeah, they're just split pushing the lanes out. S Triple C went bottom. He's picked up Boots of Travel now, so he just doesn't want to have any risk of them doing it, like some split push. They've still got Aegis too, so they want to get as much as possible out of this. And we've just seen Vici. They're, they've been kind of stuck in their base for the past five, four or five minutes now. Unable to really even split push efficiently. It's, it's, a, it's fearful. 
or he doesn't really want to boost to travel on many of the waves because he doesn't see Kaka or he doesn't see KP for a moment. Could be shadow bladed on top of him. There's a Zeus thrown on the Nimbus on top of the TP. It's, yeah, it's too risky to go for split push. So they're just getting out resourced so heavily, and newbies suffocating them more and more, increasing that advantage. When Ori does have his agonims complete, that. You know, this is that you've got to bear in mind that there's this core hero on Vichy's Gaming's lineup at the moment is sitting on 4k net worth yet to be invested. It is certainly going to make a, a difference, but of course, as we mentioned with the pipe, already on faith, it's only going to be slightly, but still, it, you never can just understate how much a Tinker can do if played correctly. But it's so hard, you've already mentioned it, the sleep, one wrong... One, uh, wrong mi move. one wrong miss move, yeah, yeah. move and, and you're out. And Zeus is one of the better ones to punish that because of static. You just get hit by anything, like a little spell bounces to you, static field hits you, you can't, yeah. you can't blink away. And he's trying to get the courier out for the point booster, but look who's here, KP. Oh, oh, oh that was very quick reactions. He's got the blink up. He's, Can KP find it? No, he's got to go be careful it. with it. Doesn't go for it. Fenrir. Mid lane, Moogie moving in straight away to Fenrir. They'll drop the chaotic offering straight away. Take down the bounty hunter. Pipe is out by Paparazzi. Mugi's got the Shadow Word healing him back up. Lanham gets the Hex off. And Nimbus is down, causing chaos in the center of the fight for Vichy Gaming. KP jumps into the midst of it all. Mugi committing as well, trying to find the kills. Blade Mail's there on Young Eleven, but they'll just fight through it. Take down the Legion anyway. 50 seconds, no Young Eleven Legion commander. Newbie get the kill and immediately move down onto this bottom lane. Looking and for that tier 3 tower. Or he has gotten his Agonims. It took him quite a journey, but he does have it now. But the damage is done. The Rax is almost dropped down, and he's unable to put the marches in a decent position from where Nubi is approaching. Uh, ooh, very quick with the blink there, backing himself off as Mugi moves in. Lanham's going to be off the mark with a stun. Does get the Hex, but he's rooted up. KP jumping in straight away, looking to control Femur on the back of it all. Lion gets bursted down. BG Gaming just being kept in the base. The Nimbus Cloud down as well, holding them back as you be able to clean up the bottom racks without any sort of formidable defense from VG Gaming. Mugi just forcing them further and further back into the fountain as the illusions build up. And what can VG Gaming do He's to just stop holding this? Them just... there. Oh man, his team's just his team's just taking the barracks while he stands alone versus four heroes. AP immediately with a combo onto Young Eleven who looks to try and TP into the midst of it all. He's held back by the root. That's going to be Young Eleven going down again. They do they manage to bring down Moogie. Massive kill for VG Gaming and with the PL gone, it will push them back. But of course, Newbie, they've already claimed two sets of racks. VG Gaming, they need a massive cleanup and they may not get it here. They have the song. Newbie thinking about how they can re-engage on Shapeshift this one. Shapeshift is ending. They're looking towards Paparazzi, and they're going to have him with the upheaval slowing him down. The Shuriken bounce, though, is massive the wraparound. Ori and Lanham, they've come from the back, but they have lost three on VG Gaming. How much can this Tinker and Lion do? I don't think there's going to be too much. They're trying their best. KP has the Shadow Blade. But they do manage to... They're, they're keeping themselves in this game. They're holding on the best they can, VG Gaming. But the lead, the, the advantage for Newbie just gets bigger and bigger. It's a 21k lead. They have the full set of racks down bottom. They managed to get the melee racks middle lane. It's just sort of just a hiccup in the overall flow of things for Newbie. Yeah. I don't think you're too upset at all. Absolutely. At the point. damage the damage was done, really. They got the racks. The racks is but a decent chunk of gold. So we're going to see Ori actually be able to go for that BKB, which he really desperately needs to be able to go get into the fights versus the side of Newbie. As yeah, we've seen, still. I think, you know, as with the two last survivors there, both Ori and Lanham. I mean, Lanham, he's, to be fair to the guy, playing a Lion in this sort of game, it's always going to be hard, but he has been hitting some pretty crucial stuns and hexes. Mm. There's no doubt about that, and it has set up for... For the combo of the Tinker to burst through some of these heroes as we saw in that last fight. Yeah, they they but they need the the fight for Vici. It needs to be like they need to have like multiple tracks out, and the Tinker needs to throw so many blades and rockets because of the itemization coming out from Nubia, as we yeah. were mentioning. The pipe, the double hearts, they can withstand through a lot of this, and Nubi might just wait for that next Roche to come up. But I don't think they need to. They're they're ready to fight. They've got all the ults, and like we've been saying so much, man. Team fight. That's a team fight. That's a blink dagger on Moogie as well, so even easier for him to get to those back lines. Mm. Find the Tinker, immediately dispatch the Lion if possible. And Young Eleven has not been able to find his ground this game on the Legion Commander. He's 0 and 7. Only plus 10 dual damage at 32 minutes is never going to be feeling yeah. good. It's really hard, by the way. The newbie's been playing, and yeah, like we said, they don't need the brush. They're going to end this game. Tinker's not in position just yet, and they're actually already claimed the high ground. 
Well, they're going to need to do something about this Vici game, and they cannot afford to be mega creep to this stage. Lanham heading in, looking for the Hex of the Stun. They do have the burst coming out. Ori actually popped the BKB, tries to move in, but there's the Naga Song of the Siren. Now the Ruru as well, holding this Tinker in place. What can Ori do to survive it? It doesn't look too great. The Aghanim's heal as well from Kaka Song of the Siren. Healing the team back up to full. Now moving on to the Tinker. Ori's down for 70 seconds. No buyback available on him. Paparazzi trying to fight, but the Shave Shift runs out. He's going to be held in place. Three down on Vici Gaming. They'll lose Paparazzi as well. And G. He is called an incredibly convincing start to the day for Newbie as they knock Fiji Gaming down 2-0. Newbie looking pretty darn good today, Fogged. Yes, yeah, as much as you might want to like harp on Vici, I think Newbie actually made so little mistakes in this game. They made the right decisions all the time. Sure, SCCC may have died that one time in the mid lane, but he, he kind of knew, you know, he was pinging himself. I loved that.